my first thought in my head is I'm going to come way too fast, mm-hmm. and I don't want to share that embarrassment with a stranger. Yeah, like I'd rather if it, I like that's why I like having sex with Leanne because if I fuck up, <laughs> she's not going to call me on it. Hundred <laughs> percent. Literally, at least once a day, sometimes two and three times a day, I open a liquid IV pack and I pour it into a 16 ounce bottle or a glass of water and I'm telling you you're getting incredible hydration and prepping yourself if you're working out if you're if you're stressing yourself out in any way if you're going on doing any type of cardio or workout you need to hydrate yourself and especially by the way as the months get cooler people start drinking less water and that's an easy way to get super dehydrated also helps to boost your immune system as we're going in the flu season it's very important i'm a huge huge fan of liquid iv one stick of liquid iv in 16 ounces of water hydrates faster and more efficiently than water alone delicious flavors like watermelon strawberry and lemon lime are you going to be enjoying a few extra drinks now that the holidays are approaching. I think you will. And this is exactly what you need. Grab your favorite Liquid IV flavors nationwide at Walmart, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code BEARS at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you get better hydration today using promo code BEARS at liquidiv.com. This episode of Two Bears, One Cave is brought to you by Sattva. Sattva is our favorite mattress company in the world because they give you a high quality environmentally friendly i'm talking luxury level mattress that has every type of mattress you can get huge savings they pass on their savings to you by not having brick and mortar not having a storefront not paying uh, commissions to salespeople. it's online only and it's the best i've been sleeping on a sava mattress for a decade and I've had all the different ones and they're all amazing. And you can go to Satva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. If you like memory foam, they have that. It's a brand called Lumen Leaf under their umbrella. You can get a Solaire that moves up and down and vibrates. Or you can get the traditional amazing Satva luxury firm mattress, the kind you would find in a five-star hotel. Go to Satva, S-A-A-T-V-A dot com slash the shit and get $200 off any mattress of your choice. We have two drastically different styles today. Very different. Yeah. I look like more like hip hop and you look more, <laughs> more, hey kids, stop throwing the balls down the <laughs> lanes. I think you're more like a guy in jail, but in a 1950s movie. Dude, you let's, know? let's talk about jail. Yeah. I've been a little fascinated by jail lately. You've been arrested? You don't know if you've been arrested? No, I've never no, I've never been arrested and booked. I've been handcuffed and put in the back of a car before. Yeah. But I've never been arrested. Me too. You've been never been arrested? Never been arrested, been put in the back of a car before. Do you think that's the next form of privilege? Of people going like going like, Oh yeah, but you've never been arrested. Check your privilege. And you're like, Oh shit, I should have uh, been arrested. Yeah, man been arrested she went to jail she went to jail yeah what for uh sodomizing a child no i'm kidding <laughs> uh no she's uh she uh dui how old 17 it's a good age to get it one you know maybe a little older maybe, no no probably older her uncle was in jail with her isn't that crazy so he was also arrested yeah heroin, i think that is a cute little hat you like it yeah. it doesn't fit my head very well so i have to wear it like cool that's very cool. Yeah, it's my new it's my new style. Uh, what did you get put in the back of the? Was it in Tallahassee? No, uh, no, I never. I almost got put in the back of a cop car in Tallahassee. I bet. Um, I uh, it was in ninth grade. Ninth and, grade. Yeah, and they had just opened up this place called Hyde Park, and my friends were, I think, were breaking into cars. I did not know that. I was unaware of it. I thought we were drinking, and they were just looking to see if cars were unlocked, and. Uh, and I was oblivious to it. I was totally oblivious to it. And they, the cops came, like over by the movie theater, the cops came up to us <clears throat> and my friends ran and I didn't run because I was like, I hadn't done anything. And then they were like, all right, hands on the wall. And then they frisked us and I was like, what is this for? And they're like, you were breaking into cars. I was like, no, I wasn't. And then they handcuffed me, put me in the back of a cop car. And my dad's, my, one of my dad's friends walked by and saw me in the back of the cop car. He's like, Bert, are you okay? And I was like, I didn't do anything. And then they let me go. I was like, I, did, I, I really didn't do anything. Hmm. Yeah. But do you ever think about going to jail? Do you think there'd be a point where you'd start going, hey, man, this is what it is, you know? Fuck it. Yeah. After a while, sure. Yeah. But it wouldn't be right away. 
I'd have a panic attack. I got accidentally locked in a jail cell in Alcatraz, and they closed it, and they locked it, and it broke, and they were like, oh, we're having a hard time getting it open. On a tour? On a, no, it was a private tour. It was when I worked on Travel Channel, and I had a fucking full-blown panic attack. Yeah. Do you think you'd care about your weight in prison? Mm. Like, do you think you'd be like, I'm, I just want to get in shape? Or do you think you'd be like, it might be this? It might be a thing that you really latch on to, because you got to find something to... You know, motivate you. And oh, keep I'd be you going. so unmotivated in prison. I would love to talk to an unmotivated prisoner. There's a few who's just like you can find them. It's like, no, man, I don't even shower anymore. Yeah, for sure. Keep your ass all shitty so that no one wants to fuck it. Do you think? Do you think? Um, do you know it's crazy? In Alcatraz, they didn't have showers; they just had baths. Did you read that thing when I got the uh, when I did the Alcatraz tour? They were to, they took us to the infirmary. Yeah, and they showed us they're like. Uh, uh, they said Al Capone had a beef with this one guy, and this guy had had just had surgery, so Capone went up to him while he was recovering, and uh, the you know he was like not this is like the fucking thirties or whatever right yeah. 40s. he goes Capone tickled his feet so that the guy would move even though he was he was like stop stop like I don't want to I don't want to move you know I'm I'm just recovering from the surgery. And then, um, and then the guy like started was asking him stop, stop. And then Capone punched him in the stomach. <laughs> you know, can I tell you what's crazy? I got such a <laughs> story's written there. <laughs> it's written in there. Yes. That's so crazy. Yeah. I got such a different story about Al Capone uh, being there. We, we did a private tour, and they were, and I was like, they say he's a son of a bitch. I got a very different story. Really? Yes. They said to me. His 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 syphilis had kicked in so heavy oh. that he was fucking useless. He'd cry well, and he'd okay. shuffle his feet and he had one eye that was frozen in one direction. That's at the very end. No, that's when he got to Alcatraz. They were like, yeah, and he they, like he gave up and he told the told the um, prison guy. He told the the warden. And by the way, I just listened to a thing on Alcatraz, so I'm trying to think. I'm mixing both of them, mm. but it, they both tours made Alcatraz Al Capone Alcatraz. Alcatraz. It is called Alcatraz. It is Alcatraz. Al Capone. Al Capone. Do you think they're like Al Capone? You're going to Alcatraz. I think they probably did. <laughs> no, and so what? like I the stories I got out about Al Capone. Did you wait, when did you do this tour? Two thousand five. Oh, so you did it with a big group of people. I mean, yeah. I did it with just one guy. Dude, it was fucking awesome. It was it was awesome. And then and then I called the Ghost Adventurers. I called Zach Baggins and I was like, Hey man, I want to get spooked. Like I want to get really spooked. And he goes, okay, here's what you do. Separate from everyone. Don't tell anyone. Separate from everyone. Go find yourself a place and sit there by yourself and welcome in spirits. So I separate from the group. We're over by, uh, I think we're below the infirmary in, in solitary confinement. Mm-hmm. And I sec- separate from the group and I go to one of the solitary confinement cells and I get in and I shut the door and I sit in the corner. I go, I'm here. If anyone's in here, come talk to me. And all of a sudden, I see a fucking, like, a red beam, like a dunk. And I go, oh, get the fuck out of here. And I fu- and it, I got chill bumps. I got cold. And I got out. And they were like, yeah, yeah, that's the. the and I, I was like, I completely felt like I got I got raped by by a ghost. Yeah. By a ghost. I used to feel like I fucked ghosts when I was a kid. You used to feel like you fucked them? Yeah, ghosts would fuck me. You but, feel like they would, the ghosts would fuck you? I would, so when I was a kid, this is, I'm about to sound like a lunatic. When I was a kid, I would get, I would have like, almost like, I'm sure I've talked about this somewhere else because this was like a really big thing for me. Yeah. I would get, I was almost like uh, lucid dreaming. Yeah. And I would, I would notice that I was in my bed. Okay. I was in my bed. I, I, I would feel myself dreaming that I'm in my bed. And then there would be a very big heaviness on my body, like something was holding me down. And then always it would start fucking me. And like it, not fucking me, I would fuck it. But it was like a woman ghost. She would ride my cock and I'd blow loads. In your dream? In, in real life. In real life. And would you finish yourself off? Nope. It just would happen. It was a nocturnal emission. So that's how my my wet wet dreams were when I was a kid. So it was a dream. It was yes, it was a no. I think a ghost fucked me, but like, I, I'm I'm being dead serious. I would have those my when I had a wet dreams as a kid. It was a ghost would like 
I would, it was almost like it was like, dude, you know, do you ever have a wet dream that that was you thought really was real for a second? Like I remember, I thought I had fucked this girl in high school <laughs> that that I really wanted to fuck so bad. Yeah, and in the dream, I'm fucking her, and then I bust a nut, and I was like, this is so great. And then I woke up and just felt like such a sad. Piece You're like, of shit. I'll never get her. Yeah, yeah. The thing is, is if a woman has a dream about having uh, sex with you, yeah, she will fuck you. Right. So this there was this girl. There was this girl in college. I think her name was Caroline or something. I did a photo shoot with this girl. With the girl that you fucked in your dream? Yeah. Can I see her? I, we were 17 or 16. But was you got a, she on Instagram now? I want to see what she looks like now. Oh, oh, I see what you mean. Uh, I'll look for her. Okay. Yeah. I like looking at pictures of, like, it's kind of fun when people show you uh, people they fucked, but now they're the age they are now. Yeah. And then you're like, oh, you dodged the bullet. Yeah, oh, yeah. <laughs> or you're like, that's not bad. I got one, someone texted me the other day and he's like, did you fuck this chick? And I was like, yeah. And he was like, dude, nice. I had one that came to a show where I was like, <laughs> <laughs> for real? <laughs> yeah. Like, and I, I don't think I hit it much either. You know, you were like, I, saw whoa. It, I was like, whoa, fucking, you've been eating all the clam chowder, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I'm when, trying to when think. When did you come out as fat? <laughs> all right, I'm going to pull up, I'm going to pull up. I'm gonna pull up chicks that I've had sex with on Instagram. <laughs> Wait, what are they doing? What are they doing? Hey, oh, I got something to show you. You didn't. Say, hey, go to my um, go to my Instagram. Oh my god, I just realized. You, what? I just realized what the thing you did to the girl that came to your show. The girls I fuck do when they see me. Oh, they're like. They're like, oh, look at this guy I fucked. They're like, whoa, <laughs> god damn it, how big is his face? Look what I did for you. The second one there? Oh. See, I said, hi, Bert. And, there, and there's, a, there's slides. You can go ahead and click the different. Oh, that's perfect, Tom. There are different stairwell picks for you. Can I tell you, we almost, I love these. Guess what? So, what? There's a whole series of them coming out. Are you serious? Yeah. I'm Just thinking, in different stairwells? Yeah, I think there might be a coffee table book. <laughs> Tom and stairwells? Yeah. Look at that one. That's my favorite one. Yeah. I liked when you were doing this with one foot. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hey. Yeah, hey. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that dude that looks like uh, the, the black dude? Unk Shine. Unk Shine? Yeah. He's in Lafayette. I flew there to. For the live show? Mm hmm. Oh, nice. nice. He, he's very, very cool. Oh, is he? The coolest. Really? How did you. How did you can, you, can you go to his Instagram just so Bert has an idea of what happens there? Oh fuck! You can go from my page, like the actual, yeah. And click him. Mm hmm. It's in the description there. There he is. Yeah. Uh, so it's the <laughs> those same. are not the same video. Okay. <laughs> I was actually upload the same video. Over no, they're over all again. different videos. What is what is he doing? Just telling that? stories, stuff like that. For real. For real. <laughs> it's all the same video. Uh, no. Wait, so that day he feels inspired and he puts something up. You know. And then sometimes he breaks it up with, hey, there he broke it up there. You know. Interesting. <laughs> it's interesting who we follow on Instagram that are very different. <laughs> all, my, all my Instagram. What's, can I see your Instagram suggestions? Oh, yeah. Like, I want to see how close. Whoa, look at this. Oh, fucking the dog. No, or, uh, and he has horrible fucking reception. Oh, I'm getting horrible reception out here. It's funny. I see pictures on my face. Like this is a big one I get. Anything with holes in it because I'm obsessed with those Ugh. little holes. You do love holes. Any pimple popping. A lot of pimple popping. Uh, Puerto Rican dudes getting their beards shaved. <laughs> uh, watches. I got a lot of watches. Snow skis. A lot of watches. Yeah. A lot of watches. Ear stuff coming out of people's ears. Oh, like the ear cleaning stuff? Yeah. That's pretty cool. Can I tell you, I'm really fascinated by um, the the uh, the thing going on in online where people don't speak, they just lip sync. You like this? N no, no. I, I find it interesting that they look for something that is how they feel, and then they lip sync how they feel, as opposed to tell you how they feel. Yeah. Such an interesting, such an interesting representation of art. To feel something, right? So you feel like, uh, you feel like, um, like, uh, like, like you're not for everybody, 
right? right? Right. Like you feel that way. And then you then you go and you find a clip of someone going, just so you know, I'm not for everybody. Mm-hmm. Then you lip sync yourself going, you know, I'm not for everybody. Yeah. And then as opposed to just saying, just so you know, I'm not for it's right. a lot of work right. to get there. Yeah, yeah. And it's but, but they want maybe there's a, something in the um the feeling of of the fact that you're lip syncing it is telling people other people feel this way. It's not just me, right? So it may, it empowers you to a degree, I think. I don't know. Do that. I saw one. It was like a black chick. It was a white chick, but she was lip syncing over a black chick's voice. Oh, we're back to these. Again, and I was huh? like, I was like, motherfucker. I was like, this woman's doing a horrific impression. And then I realized, oh, it's a lip sync video. It's a lip sync video. There's one woman I follow. Uh, there's one woman I follow that all she does is lip sync videos. But it's like, and she's like a millionaire, I guess. And it's from just, doing that, I guess she became a millionaire from, from lip syncing. Yeah, I'm not gonna call her out because I think I'm. I, I think her husband's famous. So last week you came out as fat, and yeah. uh, you you wanted to talk about fat face versus skinny face, dude. I, I gotta be honest with you. I I was looking at videos of Two Bears One Cave, mm-hmm. what, and I was like. I was like, I think I like my face fatter than skinnier. Really? Yeah, because I don't think I like my face skinny. How come? I think it just doesn't look healthy. It looks like, uh, like, oh, are you sick? Like that kind of face. Really? Like gaunt? Like well, you- your face looks good skinnier. Oh, it's way better. Skinnier. Your face is way better skinnier. But I think my fa- face is better fatter. Do you think pull up my pull up a picture of my of my face skinny? I already have one of my face fat. It's this. <laughs> okay. So no that no that's me as a child. Not I'm not saying like a child. I'm saying like no. There, that's a fat face. How about that one to the right of that? That's skinny. Th- that's a fucking ugly face. What are you talking like, about? I, I'm not attracted. I'm, look how big my mouth is. You look great I look there. How hot Leanne is. You look great there, man. What are you talking about? You don't think you look where, great there? Where is that picture from? Which one? Look at your shoulders right there. That's fat face. I've got oppressive shoulders. Okay, how about there? You look kind of skinny there. Yeah, no, I don't know what I'm looking at then. Maybe I'm wrong. I just it was I was I saw pictures on my um on of Two Bears One Cave, of me on Two Bears One Cave, and I have skinny face and it just looked kind of like there you look, you're kind of thin. No, I'm fat there. No, no, no. Up and to the right, that one. You're thinner there. For no, sure. it's still fat face. That's okay. actually, I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm, maybe, maybe I'm just getting old. <gasps> maybe it's old face that I'm afraid of. <laughs> oh, it's old face. Is that now if I get skinny, I get old face? Yeah, it'll look more wrinkly. It just looks like hangy. The skin will hang more. Uh, yeah. It looks like this. Well, that's the thing. If you're old and thin, right, you, you see it more, the frailty of you and the, if you oh, look how ripped you are right there, you look great. Yeah, I look. I was I was jacked. Look, I used to be in great shape. Yeah, not I wouldn't say great shape, but that's a fucking fat face right there. You look so happy though. Uh, it was at a. I was I was thought I was famous. Oh really? Yeah. It's before I knew what I wanted in my. Go scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. That's a fucking. You're not finding them. Find a. All these are fat face. I think. Go to look if you go to if you go to um do you remember the ones I just showed you of uh God damn it, God damn it, Nadav. Yeah. I I nothing. There you go. That is pretty like, skinny right there, man. Yeah, that's skinny face and I don't like it. You do look older. Oh fuck. Maybe I need filler. <gasps> Will you go get some filler? Yeah, if I don't like fat, if I don't like old face. By the way, maybe I just don't like my face. I need, you know what I need? I need a chemical peel. That's okay. so much skin damage on my face. From sun? Yeah. I wonder when I'm gonna shave my head. Oh, like this? Yeah. That's when I'm gonna Do you know I'm, gonna, like I'm gonna look old immediately. <laughs> I'm going to go from youthful and spry to youthful and what spry. the fuck happened to that guy? Just from shaving the head? Oh, when I shave the head, it's gone. It's I'm going to shave the head and shave the beard. I'm just going to look like a dude in a prison riot that goes first. Yeah. Just if I had shaved, 
I just had a panic attack thinking how horrible I'd feel if I woke up and I had no beard and no hair. What if I got alopecia and I had no beard, no hair, and I had to start? That's how you lose weight. That's how you lose weight. Arnold Schwarzenegger used to wear short shorts when he was working on legs days so he could show his legs off so he'd be like self-conscious, motivated. Yeah, yeah. This is what I'm doing. In May, I should do it now. I should shave my beard and my face, my head, everything. Shave my whole body bald. And I will hate it so, so much. much. That I'll just go. It's not a bad idea, actually. That's not a bad idea at all. It's not a bad idea. That's not a bad idea at all. It's just people, and then people will watch my stand up, and instead of laughing, I'd hear, put a shirt on, put on a mask, (laughs) put on a mask and a hat and a shirt, (laughs) put gloves on. Those hands are disgusting. This is a really, actually, it is a good idea. So you see how much you hate yourself. When when you shaved my (laughs) beard that one time, I don't like the guy under here. Right. The guy neither. under here. Me neither. By the way, if you took all the things off I do to razzle dazzle myself, yeah, I don't like that guy. Like I don't. I'm not attracted to him. I think he's disgusting. Like, I know too like, many secrets about him. Like wait, wait, wait. what kind of razzle dazzle are you talking about? Shave me bald. Yeah. No cool sneakers. No nice watch. No nice shirt. No nothing. Yeah. No nothing. You hate your. I get. I get. Prison clothes. Yeah. This is a genius idea. It is the prison weight loss system. Okay? Yeah. You. We're talking about prison. We're talking about motivation. You shave off all your hair, all your beard, everything. Shave oh. your eyebrows off too. Oh my God. Why do you got to shave them Because off? you want to be disgusted by yourself. Okay. You want to be fully disgusted by yourself. Okay? <laughs> you shave your whole body, your pubic hair, everything. And you, I'm I'm so repulsed by the idea of doing this to myself that it's it's working. And 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 then you then you and you put mirrors everywhere. Uh, mirrors are everywhere in your room, and you are st- and you wake up and all you can see is yourself. Uh, and your fridge, all inside your fridge is mirrors. Oh, there's mirrors on the outside of your and fridge. And the kitchen has all mirrors. all mirrors everywhere. And you will fucking lose weight. I'm doing it. I'm gonna shave my head you know, and my beard. Did I tell you the first time I? I'm gonna shave my head and my fucking beard. I'm going to shave my head and my beard, and I'll fucking guarantee you. Why don't you do it right now? Because I get dinner tonight. Oh. <laughs> I'm fucking You starving. really will do it? I'm trying to think when. If I could get a break. What? He's pitching like doing it on a live show. Yeah, yeah. I really have to take a shit. We're going to have to stop in a second. Why? Second. I got to go shave my asshole. <laughs> Listen, that is a. it's actually a very good idea. Can I tell you the first time... First time that I was really fat and that I was motivated to lose weight yeah. was seeing my face in a side mirror in college. Really? I was a passenger. I remember where I was. We were on this road and it was a Sunday. And so my friend was, you know, on Sunday, like we party Saturday night. So you go out yeah. on Sunday to just like, you know, you're hungover, get some like food or something. And I'm looking out the passenger door just like, on some road, whatever. And I caught a, like when my head came back in the car, I caught a glimpse of myself in the side mirror. And I, and I tried to avoid it. And I was like, oh no, just like look at it. And I, it was like that. I was like, ugh, you're so fucking disgusting. Dude, when I shaved, when you shaved my beard off, I went, I woke up the next morning and forgot I didn't have a beard. And I went into the bathroom and I saw me and I, I felt bad for him. I was like, I was like, oh, buddy, I haven't seen you in a long time. <laughs> yeah. And, and he was looking at me. I was like, I'm so sorry that we, I did this to you. Yeah. And then he's like, he's just looking at me back going, man, what happened? <laughs> yeah. Has this been going on the whole time and yeah. you didn't tell me? And I was like, yeah, yeah I should have yeah. told you. And he's like, and we're skinny right now? And I was like, we are the skinniest we've ever been. <laughs> and he's like, what are we going to do? And I was like, I think we're just going to grow the beard back and just be regular. <laughs> the holiday season's upon us. And you're probably thinking, what am I going to get for my daughter, my son, my husband, his sister, our parents? Can I pitch you stance socks? First of all, they are amazing socks. It is so nice to put on a good pair of socks to start your day, to look at a pair of socks and get excited, to add that little razzle-dazzle. But what's more important is that stance socks comes in a ton of different awesome designs. 
Say your son's a Harry Potter fan. Boom. Harry Potter socks. Batman. Goonies. Star Wars. The Office. Wu-Tang. Jill Perkins. Disney. Barbie. Marvel. They also have Major League Baseball. NBA. I love Stance because they have changed by style for the better and always provide high quality clothing. Stance has a perfect gift for every punk or poet on your list. Go see for yourself. It's easy. Just head over to stance.com and pick up pick out some styles that you think they might enjoy. Enjoy the color and comfort of a life less ordinary with Stance. If you're using your hands to wipe your asshole, you are so 2017. I'm telling you right now, I am hands free. And that is the future. If you want to be like an animal and just use your hands, here's my point. If you got shit on your fingers, would you just wipe it off with paper? Hell no. That is a water situation immediately. That's why Tushy is amazing. Tushy shoots clean water on your asshole. Super easy to install. You don't need extra plumbing or, or, or stuff to, to put it on your toilet. A moron like me can install it. And then you can feel like a high flutin, high class uh, one percenter because you're getting fresh water sprayed on your anus to knock all that shit off. And then you all, literally all I do, a little bit of po- toilet paper and pat dry. Tushy Ottoman, they also have the Tushy Ottoman, the sleekest toilet stool designed to help at poop at 100%, 100% of the time. That's just bringing your feet up a little higher the way you should be shitting for the record. And the new Tushy brush, the only toilet brush with disposable scrub pads so you can use a clean brush every time. That's always bothered me that they that you'd scrub shit with it and then just put it there. <laughs> Start washing with the Tushy bidet for a better clean. Go to hellotushy.com slash bears to get 10% off plus free shipping. That's a special offer for our listeners at hellotushy.com slash bears for 10% off. After you buy and install your tushy, show it to us, tag it to us, tag us at hellotushy on Instagram. If you're like me, you're probably wondering what to get people for, for a gift. There's like gift guides and there's gift lists and you start thinking about what this, that. You know what you can give to any guy, any girl, any non-binary, any person in your family, any friend, you can give them wireless earbuds. They're the best, and everybody loves them. Raycon wireless earbuds, nothing better than putting in earbuds and listening to whatever you want to listen to. Music, podcasts, they have amazing audio quality. You can wear them wherever you want. You wind down, you work out, you can make phone calls on them. They're useful for everybody, literally everybody on your list, and they start at half the price of the other premium audio brands with their latest model. You get three new sound profiles to make sure everything you're listening to sounds its best with the right amount of bass. There's pure mode for podcast listening, balance mode, and then bass mode if you want the hip hop, uh, EDM. Raycons are available in five stylish colors. They're fantastic. The holidays are coming up faster than you think. Now is the time to knock out that gift list and avoid the last minute shipping scramble, especially because right now, my listeners will get 15% off site-wide with the code HOLIDAY at buyraycon.com slash bears. Go to buyraycon.com slash bears and use the code HOLIDAY today to get 15% off your entire Raycon order. Buyraycon.com slash bears. I mean, it sucks that I women to, can't grow beards. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> I wonder how, what percentage of ticks do you think would increase if they could put on whatever their beard is? You ever see like a porn star who put, puts her shirt in the middle and you're like, yeah, 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 sure, you're cold. All right, whatever. Yeah. Someone got stretch marks. <laughs> uh, what is that? Is that? Is it? What do you guys think it is? A C-section scar? Yeah, no, yeah. It's a... Uh, I watched a chick fuck this morning. I'll pull her up. You watched porn today? I jerked off this morning. What? Nothing. Okay. I Ooh. watched uh, I watched this porn today. Let's see. Was it uh do you search for this? Or whatever no. you stumble on? This was don't I I love that it the title was Don't Come on My Skirt. Oh. <laughs> I was like, Okay, I'll, I'll come on my stomach. Careful where you come. Yeah. But <laughs> this is what's interesting about her, right? Is that yeah. she she kept her fucking Ennies. She kept her dress. Around. She took her her tube top off and just yeah. wore it around her stomach. And I was like, oh. well, "Who are we kidding here?" Yeah, like just let's see. I kind of want to see the broken part of you, like you know, like that's yeah. the sexy part is when a woman shows you her flaw, and like, like okay, like you know, like so both our wives have had kids. Yeah, and I don't mind Leanne's flaws. What I love about them is they're almost like a, a security deposit on her not going to anyone else. Is that how wh- when you guys grown I'm nervous. But can you imagine? Can but hear me out. Keep going. Can you imagine 
Christina having sex with someone else and going, oh yeah, let's just let's just go crazy as opposed to her going like like Leanne, if Leanne was gonna have sex with someone else, there's a lot of there's a lot of the fact that I love her body yeah. and I love what she looks like. Some fucking twenty two year old kid would be like, she I don't think she'd feel comfortable getting naked in front of a fucking twenty nine year old dude, another grown man. Like, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I mean. Is there anything Christina is insecure about? Sure. Okay. Do you think that she would be comfortable sharing that insecurity with a stranger? I mean, I think it's a case by case basis, right? Like most of us have. Like you tell me my insecurities, I have tons of insecurities, and you're saying, would you be comfortable sharing it with a stranger? I would say, case like your go to answer is probably no. Yeah. Okay. But the the reality is, it is like case by case. Could like, you could you fuck a stranger right now? Like legit fuck a stranger? Like no, like everyone's like everyone's like. Everyone's like, uh, like, okay, we go out to dinner tonight. The hostess, yeah. um, they call up and they're like, hey, we have a phone call for Tom Segura. Can you, you need to take it in the back in the cooler? Mm-hmm. And so you go back in the cooler and then it's the phone. And they're like, okay, your wife has been diagnosed with amnesia and anything that happens in the next two days, she will never know about. Okay. And it's, but we're gonna need you to come home like in like 45 minutes okay. because her amnesia is pretty bad. Okay. And then they go, and you go, thank you, doctor. And you hang up. And then this girl goes, you're in the cooler with her. And she's just waiting to get the phone back from you. And she's like, she's like, I'm a, I'm a huge fan, Tom. And you're like, oh, thank you. And she, and then she doesn't know about the conversation. And she goes, actually, you're my, my cheat, my get out of jail. I'm allowed to have sex with one guy. Mm-hmm. And my, I was with this guy for a long time, and you were that guy. But now I'm single. And she's like, yeah. And she goes, what's the conversation about? And you're like, my wife's been diagnosed with amnesia. Mm-hmm. And she's like, oh, my God. So anything that happens in this cooler, she'll never know about. Right. Now, right. she's hot, okay? Right. And she looks like this girl. She looks like this girl. This. She looks like this girl. Uh-huh. Okay? Right. Do what, would, what, you be, would, would you, you want to know what I say next? Yeah. Bend over, stupid. <laughs> my wife was diagnosed with amnesia. Amnesia? Amnesia. Amnesia. Let's see the girl again. I want to know who um whose skirt I'm not coming on. This is her. She has great tits. They're real. She's got. She's Russian, by the way. It's, yeah, they shouldn't speak English in the whole fucking clip. And oh. I was like, if the girl in the cooler is like that, it's even better. <laughs> oh my god! Don't come on my skirt. Yeah, she seems pretty cool. Yeah, like I, I like, mean, what, if and if you're in the same scenario, what would you say? I would be, now she's young and she's hot. Right. Body's perfect. She's like, I'm such a big fan of yours. I'm so sorry to hear that Leanne's uh, got an in a week, yeah. Um, is there anything I can do to help comfort you? Yeah. I'd be like, oh, fuck. In my head, I'm, in my first thought in my head is, I'm going to come way too fast. Mm-hmm. And I don't want to share that embarrassment with a stranger. Yeah. Like, I'd rather, if it, I like, that's why I like having sex with Leanne, because if I fuck up, She's not going to call me on it, you know? <laughs> like, she's actually said, wow, this is taking actually long for you. And I'm yeah. like, oh, I'll get to it. But it kind of would be cool of you to tell this person that. And maybe she would be like, it's okay. Would it be, would it take you longer in my mouth? I think I realized this is my hang up. <laughs> this is my hang I don't have sex with people because I'm afraid to show them what I look like naked and what I do naked. Uh-huh. Like, I've never been good at sex. And so this is my hang up. Now I'm saying that. I was like, I think Leanne's really comfortable with her body. I bet she'd be like, I don't give a fuck. You want to fuck? Let's get down. Let's call her and find out. That's okay. a bad idea. It's a bad idea. Yeah. I wonder if I did the same Charlottesville you did. Uh, the Paramount Theater in Charlottesville. I did. I did Charlottesville, West Virginia. Is that did, a, is that a Charlottesville? Did, that I don't know. I did Charlottesville, Virginia. There's probably are. There's probably more than one. Really? And you you said yours went um, the second perfect, show perfectly. The second show went. It was wild because you just don't usually see it in theater. It's a, it's a small theater and it's old theater. It's ninety year old theater. Yeah. So the acoustics are crazy good, and there isn't a bad seat in the house. They're really right up Charleston, on you. West Virginia. I do Charlottesville, okay. West Virginia. Okay. Keep going. Um. Yeah. So it's like they're really tight. It's like it's right. They're right up on you. I love it. Oh, those are yeah. like those are great. They're they're fun. So I was doing the late show. On Sunday, so there was two shows. Ooh, two shows on a Sunday, and everyone's got to work on a Monday. Someone's moving some tickets. It was a, it was a good it was a good little uh, fun thing to do, and, and we routed it with the rest of Virginia Run, which was Norfolk and uh, Richmond. So anyway, 
The Late Show. You know, I hear um, a little rowdiness, which is not that unusual. And then I do hear a guy heckle Jeff Tate, brief, like just for a second, and I hear him say something Ooh, back. But I, that's, that's that's oil and water. Yeah, Jeff yeah. Tate in Char- Charlottesville. Yeah, he because um, Charlottesville is where they had the race riots, right? That's where the yeah, that's where the everything like. I'm sure they're super excited that that's how I know them. Well, that's um, they know they know that that's what how you know them. Type in things. Interesting things to do in Charlottesville. Let's see what else they're known for. Okay. okay. Let's try. So, let's let's change the branding of that city because I bet that city is not filled with just horrible people. It no. just it's just it's just a bunch of horrible people showed up to that city and behaved like lunatics. Yeah, that's right. Most of them came and ruined things for the University of Virginia is there. UVA. Oh. I'm, so. Oh wait, I thought that was in Richmond. No, it's the one that you know is in is in Charlottesville. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. So it looks beautiful. It is. It is kind of a. There's great vineyards in Charleston. I didn't know. There's that. a historic it's, downtown mall. It's Charlottesville. Charleston. Charlotte, Charlottesville. There's a lot of wi- vineyards in Charlottesville. It's didn't known know for their vineyards. There you go. There you go, Charlottesville. By the way, I'll add a show to Charlottesville. I want to perform in Charlottesville now. You Did you enjoy it. the city? Uh, yeah, I went over to uh uh. Chris Long's studio, you know. Chris Long lives in Charlottesville. Yeah, and we watched. How bad can it be? It was great. We watched, he went to UVA, right? Yeah, yeah. We watched football, and then uh, he came to the show. He came to the, to this late show. Oh, did he really? And uh, wait, what kind of what character am I doing? Oh, uh, did he really? Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm so, going to morning. I'm going to morning TV you. Okay, 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 okay. So, Chris Long, did you guys talk football? <laughs> Yeah, we did. We did. What did you guys eat? You guys are two big fellas, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He had some Burger King. He had Burger King for real. He did. Yeah. <laughs> he came out as fat. He has he <laughs> he has uh, he has the opposite problem that we have. Is he in shape? Without trying, like he's like hey, he's like I got to eat. He's to keep a genetic my monster, though, right? Yeah, he's Howie Long's son. Yeah. Yeah. But pull him a picture. Brother. Pull a picture. Look picture. at Howie Long now. Howie Long is what when when. My dad. How old is Howie Long? Howie Long went to Villanova. He is 61 years old. Look at this mother. He, Howie Long's better looking now than he was when he played football. I know. It's insanity. Look at that. That's, that's genetics, man. How many kids did Howie Long have? I bet Howie Long had the perfect life. He's probably I still do. married to the same woman, I bet. And I bet she looks like a fucking dime. No offense, Chris Long. I don't mean to, I don't mean to talk about your mom like eh. that. But I bet she's... Type up. I want to know more about Howie Long. This is the fucking man. He 61 is. years old. God damn it. 6'5". Spouse. Married in 1982 yeah. to Dana. Diane. Diane. Oh, an Italian woman. Yeah. So they always ate good. Had lasagna. Big yeah. meatballs in the Howie Long yeah. family. Yeah. Yeah. Type in Howie Long. Let's see how many kids he got. Looks like he's got three. God damn it. They all play pro football. Did Howie Jr.? I, don't know. I know Kyle and Chris. I don't know Howard Jr. I don't know. I have, a, I, have a good story. I have a good story about Howie Long. You uh, do? That I can't tell on air because it's, it's, uh, it's not appropriate. Because, <laughs> but but uh, it's, it's a story. It's a very good story about what a good guy he is, what okay. a good person he is. But it's not appropriate? He stood up. Let me just say he stood up for, uh, he stood up for, oh, so I can't say. I don't know what I can't say. All right. So, okay. okay. Pull up a picture of Chris Long, shirtless. Oh, dude, shirtless! You're really gonna, shirtless. you're really gonna feel like shit. Here, hold on. Oh my god! Oh, he's got abs. That's not him. That's not him. He's a good-looking kid. Yeah. How tall is Isn't Chris that... Long? Him right there? Is that him? no? Who's that there? I don't know who that is. He's in the top 15 hottest NFL players. I don't know. Uh, yeah, he's about 6'4", and uh, I don't know. I don't know what he weighs now, but he's probably like 240, 250, but not like us. <laughs> <laughs> so you guys eat Burger King? No, we, I didn't eat any Burger King. He ate Burger King. Uh, what did he have for Burger King? This makes my dick hard. Uh, I think he had a Whopper. Some chicken strips and fries. Yeah. I want a Whopper. You want a Whopper? I want a Whopper so bad. They're so good. <laughs> you want one right now? I want one right now. I want a Whopper right now. Fucking, I want a double Whopper with cheese. 
I think he had two. Yeah. How do we genetically steal his genes? It's going to be tough. If they said you could, if they said, hey, yes. man, you, you can blood swap. Okay, I'd do it. With one man. Oh, I'd definitely take one. And what will happen is you're not going to look exactly like him. Yeah. But you'll see your body start morphing a little bit into that man's body. What man do you pay? think very carefully about this? Because you're getting everything, dude. You go with his, their dad. I might. We might have to hold Howie Long down in a yeah. hotel room. Yeah, and, and fucking and draw his blood. He's like, "What his, the fuck are you two doing?" You take his bone marrow and shit. Take yeah. His bone marrow. Just start drinking it. I'm out. so sorry, Howie. Yeah, Howie, I gotta. <laughs> yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, man. God, it also takes. I wonder like if he was four good, more people. To well, do does it. Chris Long ever talk about his dad? Like, like what was what kind of parenting he did? Oh, I think they have a, a great relationship. Yeah. Yeah, they seem like a pretty close. How long went to Villanova, right? Howie Long? Yeah. I don't remember. I think he went to Villanova because my dad was obsessed with Howie Long. Really? He was the only football player to ever come out of Villanova. I don't know. Howie Long. Villanova comes up, oddly enough. You type in Villanova and Howie Long shows up? Howie Long College, he wrote. There you go. He went to Howie Long College? Long played college football at Villanova. Yep. Yeah. God damn it. He didn't get married too early. Right? I don't know. How old was he when he got married? Pull up a picture. I, I'm sorry. So I'm very sorry, Chris Long. Never mind. I was going to pull up a picture of uh, Chris Long's mom. I bet she's fucking gorgeous. Oh, I bet Jesus. she's gorgeous. I bet she's gorgeous. Okay. God damn it. Okay. Right now, Chris Long's like, I'm fucking turning this episode off. Does he listen to our show? I don't know. How do you know him? He listens to our show. <laughs> uh, no, he's a great, dude. He really is a great guy. But wait, so we're, I'm at I'm on the show. I can't believe we fucking. This, this we is, should get all our celebrity football player friends together. Sweet Tom, let's Tom. You ready for this? Let's throw a celebrity football player two bears one cave party, and we don't tell any of them that they're all coming, right? But we invite all of them together. Like it starts off very casual with guys who forgot their football players, right? We start with Pat McAfee, and he's like, "Hey, and we're like, hey, you forgot the football player?" No, but like he's he's done so much other stuff now oh, okay. that he'll be like, "Hey, what's up?" And then we're like, "Hey, great." And then when AJ Hawk walks in, and he's like, "Hey, AJ, I didn't know you guys were telling him here." And he's like, "Yeah, hey, yeah, 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 yeah." And then we go, and then Aaron Rodgers walks in, and, and we're like, and they're like, "Oh, Aaron!" And then right now they haven't realized what's happening, right? Yeah. Then Aaron Rodgers walks in, and he's like, "Hey, AJ, hey, what's up?" Was this a podcasting thing? Then Chris Long walks in. They're like, hold on. Did you just invite football players? <laughs> We're like, Warren Sapp, what the fuck are you doing here? <laughs> we see how many we can invite until they're like, all right. And then by the end, they're crying, laughing, going, shut the fuck up. Martin Grammatica. <laughs> oh, that would be so funny because every time that you heard a knock on the door, everyone would be like, all right, who is it? Who is it? <laughs> It would be fucking great. Okay. <laughs> you haven't drank at all today. I haven't. I'm waiting for dinner. Although, it's pretty much five o'clock. You want to drink? Do you want to drink? Oh, you got to drive. Um, That's true. How many, fo- how many celebrity football players can we invite to our, uh, to our celebrity football player dinner? I mean, I don't, I don't know that. I know a few. I know, okay, I know uh, Johnny Hecker. We got him. Uh, uh, Whitmore for the. Uh, uh, oh yeah, Rams. He, yeah, Rams. Um, we get a couple Rams. Uh, oh, we got we got um, offensive linemen for the Packers. We just oh dude, let's do a celebrity football player uh, dinner. Dinner. Yeah, and we just don't tell them. We got it. Well, I guess they're knowing now. I guess they're like, now, now when they, they get the invite, they're like, I think I know where I'm going. What else? Where are we, we doing the dinner? I want it to be good. Yeah. I don't, I, but, but it's, they're fucking football players. are going to eat like fucking savages. I mean, the bill we're going to split. Yeah. Burger King. How about Burger King? Burger King. Yeah. And we get Hooters. Hooters. Do you want to do the dinner on a plane? Yes. Yes. Oh, fuck yes. Oh, that'd be so much fun. It'd be almost like that uh, professional airline, professional flight where the air, all the, never mind. Uh, you see me just bail on that sentence. I had all the words in here 
And my mouth's like, we're not going to get these out today. One of my favorite things to do is to go into outfitter stores, uh, like, you know, outdoors stores, and find cool new gear. And I literally like taking my time with it. I'm a big jacket guy. The other day I went through and I felt these pants. I rubbed my hands on them and I went, these are the most comfortable pants I've ever felt in my life. And then the woman said to me, do you know they have these great shorts? They're called core shorts. And I went, hold on, are you talking about Viore? And she goes, yeah, these are Viore. Do you know Viore? I said, they're a podcast sponsor. I said, wait, these are the Ponto shorts. The Ponto, I think I'm saying it right. The Ponto are the, the little long ones. And they are the most comfortable I'm telling you, put them on and never take them off for a weekend. And what's amazing about them is they look fantastic. They are amazing. They're men's Sunday performance joggers. They're perfect for loungewear or for jogging. They've got the performance joggers for women's, the daily leggings, and the core shorts, which are the most comfortable lined athletic shorts I've ever worn in my entire life. Viore is an investment in your happiness, and you will be happy if you buy yourself a pair of Viore pants. For our listeners, they're offering 20% off your first purchase. Get yourself some of the most comfortable and versatile clothing on the planet at viore.com slash bears. That's V. U O R I dot com slash bears. Not only will you receive 20% off your first purchase, but enjoy free shipping on any US order orders over $75 and free returns. Go to Viori.com slash bears and discover the versatility of Viori clothing. Today's episode is brought to you by Whoop. As you can see, I never take this thing off. I'm super addicted to my Whoop and all the insight it gives me for sleep, for recovery, for strain. I wear it for every workout. I never take it off. I just throw the battery charger on it. It only takes a few minutes, incredibly efficient battery charger. You learn everything about yourself, and now there's an all-new Whoop 4.0. It's smaller, smarter, and designed with new biometric tracking, including skin temperature, blood oxygen, and more. The device also features an all-new smart alarm designed to wake you up feeling refreshed and ready to take on the day. Get into Whoop, and I'm telling you, you will learn things about how your body is responding to what you're eating, what you're digesting, what you're drinking, how you're sleeping. It's incredible. The all-new waterproof device is free when you sign up for a Whoop 4.0 membership. For any members, if you have six months left of membership on your account, you can upgrade now and get the Whoop 4.0. 4.0 for free. And right now, Whoop is offering 15% off when you use the code CAVE at checkout. Go to Whoop, W H O O P.com, enter the code C A V E at checkout, and save 15%. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp, H E L P. Whether you're struggling with grief, relationship, or stress, or having trouble sleeping and meeting goals, online therapy can help. If you're having anxiety in airports like myself, Online therapy can help. BetterHelp is a secure online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with a licensed professional therapist. BetterHelp's going to assess your needs and match you with your own accredited therapist. And you're going to be matched with that therapist in under 48 hours. Therapists have a broad range of expertise which may not be available in your area. They have a, the services available for clients worldwide. And you can log into your account anytime and send a message to your therapist. You get timely and thoughtful responses plus... You can schedule weekly video or phone sessions. BetterHelp is committed to facilitating great therapeutic matches. So if you don't like your therapist, you can switch it. That is very important. Trust me from a guy who's changed therapists a lot. <laughs> and it's more affordable. Visit BetterHelp.com slash bears and join the over 2 million people who have taken charge of their mental health with the help of an experienced professional. In fact, so many people have been using BetterHelp that they're recruiting additional therapists in all 50 states. Two Bears, One Cave is sponsored by BetterHelp, and our listeners get 10% off their first month of online therapy at BetterHelp.com slash bears. That's BetterHelp.com slash bears. Do you have blue eyes? Do I? You do. Yeah. I never noticed that. Really? Yeah. I, I thought I was the one with the good eyes, and then you got second place, but they're blue. I didn't know that. I thought you had brown eyes. This whole time? I, just, I literally just said, oh my God, he's got good looking eyes. I have beautiful eyes. What color eyes are Chris Long have? <laughs> I don't know. All right, ready? I'm going to try to remember Aaron Rodgers' eyes. They're okay. brown. They're brown? Pull up Aaron Rodgers' eyes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus oh, they're Christ. hazel. Are they hazel? I don't know. What color eyes does Aaron Rodgers have? Go to the images. And Nadavia, go to the images and zoom in. No. No. Wait, does he have green eyes? They're blue. He's got blue eyes. Oh, I fucked up. Okay, let's do other people. Ready? What color eyes does Joe Rogan have? Brown. Brown? He's got to have brown. Brown. Okay, we'll pull up Joe Rogan's eyes. 
Let's do this with everybody. Those are dark, right? Those are brown. Are they brown? They're brown. Yeah. Okay, okay. Ready? Um, what? I'm going to try to think of someone and see if you can remember what color eyes they have. Um, what color eyes does Pat McAfee have? I really don't know. Isn't that crazy that you don't pay attention to the color eyes? Yeah. Pat McAfee's got to have blue eyes. Like, he seems, I'm being racist right now, but he just feels like he'd have blue eyes with his personality. Oh, I thought you meant because there's fair skin and... and well, yeah, that, that's all, what I really meant to say, but... Oh. Pat McAfee, brown eye, blue eyes, right? Blue eyes. No. Zoom in. Go, go to the picture and then zoom in. Brown eyes. God damn it. That, he's got gray eyes. What is he, a wolf? That, Why don't you call him real quick? I'll find out what color his eyes are real quick. Yeah. <gasps> okay. You ready for this? Yeah. This is my new favorite thing to do that I just discovered right now. And this is my new favorite thing to do. Ooh. Okay. You ready? Yeah. This is my new favorite thing to do FaceTiming people. <laughs> By the way, this is an aggressive FaceTime call. It's super aggressive. My mm. face is really fat. <laughs> He's just going to answer. I'm going to go, oh, blue, never mind, and hang up. <laughs> hey, put the phone close to your eyes. Why don't people answer FaceTime calls? It's aggressive. I wonder if I could FaceTime Aaron Rodgers if I, and I just go, oh, blue, I thought so. And just hang up. That's a fun thing. Do you have his number? Do. Yeah, of course I do. Call it. Nope. Why? Because I'm not. He's not. We're not friends like that yet. We got to do some fun guy stuff. You know, we're like swimming what? together. Okay, ready? Close your eyes. What color are Warren Sapp's eyes? Brown. Okay. <laughs> okay, close your eyes. What color are Dave Chappelle's? <laughs> Brown. Okay. Do are there any black people with blue eyes? Type in black guy blue eyes. The origin of black people. Whoa. Whoa. Holy fuck. Oh my God. That's wild. That is fucking awesome. You really don't see it often. Oh, you don't see it off, often at all. People do it with contacts, you know. But Who think- is this woman? Scro- go, go up, go up. Look at this child. Go up, go up, go up. Keep going. This woman, this actress, Sydney Black. Yeah, right there. Holy fucking shit. You just hit, hit the, I, it, hit the I, link. I bet it's hit the link. Addresses oh, they're not real. Well, we don't know. No, no, that's what it says. She's addressing the comments about getting about being black with blue about eyes. Being black with blue eyes. Yeah. Why would someone fucking hate because, on that? Because people are probably assuming that it's not natural, you know? That is like weird. Well, I mean, right. that's like, that's Scroll, like, uh, zoom in on the on the text. That is uh, piercing her, blue eyes. Yeah, the brown skin, bright blue eyed stunner has faced doubt about her eye color from the moment she stepped in the social media scene after countless videos and posts addressing it. Commentary still can't help but fit. Scroll. I'm sure we're just piling on. No, I'm just trying to. You brought it up. I'm, I'm, yeah. Uh, she has mesmerized viewers with years with her icy blue eyes. Many of them are rude, ignorant comments. Um, okay. Her she, mom's got one blue eye. Oh fuck! Her mom. Look at her mom. That's yeah, awesome. Yeah. Oh my god, I would love to have one blue eye, and one brown eye. Okay. Oh my god, is that is that real? That's crazy. Heterochromia. Uh, How do you get it? Which means she has two. That's what her mother has. Two different eye colors. Okay. Well, we don't really understand the origin of this, but got it. Heterochromia. Type in heterochromia. I want to see more blue eyed, brown eyed people. That's fucking awesome, dude. That is so much better than just having two blue eyes. Oh my god! Look at that kid. What kid? The kid that looks like a villain. Oh, this kid. Yeah. Holy shit, that's awesome. You like that? 
What if there was a pill you could take to like increase the blueness in your eyes? Would you take it? Yeah. Yeah, right? Of course. Who Are blue eyes the best color eyes? Um, I'm going to say yeah. Type in best eye color to have. It's got to be blue. It's right? opinions, but I mean. It's opinions of everyone. Like okay. everyone thinks. Hazel? Oh, fuck off. Let me see hazel eyes. I've never seen. What's hazel? It's green, right? Well, it looks like hazel and green, it would be different. Hazel. Let me see hazel eyes. Ooh, whoa. Oh, shit. You got to get up close to them, but shit. Whoa, what the fuck are those? Hazel eyes. How do you get hazel eyes? Then what do you mean? Like, is that, is, is that a big thing? Well, Type in percentage of people that have blue eyes, brown eyes, and hazel eyes. But this is amazing content, right? Me just going, what the fuck? There you go. It's the first. Okay. There we go. Percentage of people with his lies. That's, that's very low. Percent? That's very low. Five percent? Yeah. Percentage of people with blue eyes. It's got to be, I'm going to say, I'm going to say higher. 35. Yeah, it's going to be higher. Oh. Dude, 10 percenters. I'm pretty special. Shut up, man. Wow. 8%. Oh, that's no, that's a cheat code. What? I just realized. I was like, they're just talking about people. Right. So you got all of Africa. No one's got them. You got all of Asia. No one's got them. You've got all of, you got Sweden where there's going to be a bunch. Yeah. So that kind of stupid. Oh, you want to hear the rest of the Charlottesville story? Y yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> tell me about Charlottesville. So, okay, so let me paint the picture. Chris Long's wearing sunglasses, so you don't know what color her eyes. He's eating cheeseburgers right, right, left and right in yep. the back, and he's, and and uh, and and you're out there and you're doing your like white guy stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And someone's like, someone's like, I thought this guy shaved his head for a reason. He's not talking about what I want to hear. It's probably like I'm thinking like 25 minutes into the set, and I'm and, and it's a set up up for a story like I'm, I'm in like one of those lines where i'm like and here's the thing i want to tell you what happened like one of those kind of moments yeah so it's like quiet and i'm sometimes you, you ever hear you ever hear chatter and you go i'm gonna bury the chatter mm -hmm. by talking yeah. louder yeah. you know that like in especially in big rooms that the speakers can like drown out something so i'm like i lean on the mic i'm, I'm just gonna quiet whatever that is but as i'm like transitioning to the next sentence I just hear it more, and then I, I, it's, it's not avoidable. So I'm like, "What's happening?" And this guy goes, "They're trying to throw me out of here." And I'm like, "Um, what?" And, he, and then they start going, "He won't shut up. We want him to shut up." And they're like, "They're talking to me in this theater." And I'm like, "And they go, Tom, what should we do?" I go, "This is beyond my pay grade. I don't. <laughs> this is up to you now, theater people." <laughs> Uh, and then they go, and then the two people who were like, he needs to leave. He goes, I'm not leaving. <laughs> and he, I see, I get out of the light cause it's a spotlight and he's got his hands on the, the, the chair rails. And he's like, you're going to have to drag me out of here. And I'm like, ah, uh. and then security comes and I go, do what you must. <laughs> and they're like, sir. And he goes, no. And they're like, he should leave. And that whole room is like. Falling apart. You yeah. Know? It's like, it's over a thousand people. And I'm like, don't look at me. <laughs> like, I'm up. This is, uh, this is my part. I'm going to go sit in the green room for yeah, a little bit. I'm just like, I I'll just wait here. And the security guys are not, to be fair, real security guys. It's, oh, it's, it's usually older gentlemen. It's like ushers. Yeah. They're ushers. And they're like, they go like, come on. And he's like, you'll have to drag me out of here. And he's like, he's holding on. And they're not even going to try to drag. And they're like, come on. And he's like, no. And I mean, and meanwhile, by the way, other people just start yelling. They're just like yelling at him, yelling at other people, yelling at me. Come on, Tom. I'm like, come on, what? <laughs> like, they just start asking questions. And, I, and I'm like, this show is falling apart, like completely falling apart. People are screaming. Yeah. And I, and I look at like, how much time has gone by? We're at like 27 minutes. And I'm like, oh, fuck. 
And after a few minutes, some people, a couple people leave, but I don't know who has left, like in the, in the scope of what's happening. Yeah. But what I know is that the guy that was being the loudest and that he's arguing with people is not leaving. <laughs> he's still there. He's still there. Yeah. And he's just basically like, I'm staying. He's got a fucking fishing shirt on. Like one of those tackle oh, shirts. Yeah. I was like, all right. And then what he does is his, after like chaos kind of takes over, it sort of calms down. And I go into a bit and I think he wants to separate himself from being the bad guy to being part of the audience again. So he goes, <laughs> like he, he laughs extra hard. But it's all manufactured. Good one, Tommy. He's like, that's a good joke. And I was like, oh, boy. And the rest of the set was, pe once that happened, this thousand plus people thought like, well, we can do this. Like, we can make this more interactive. <laughs> so like, I would do a bit and they were like, hey, man, how come, how come you're, we're out, where, what does it say on your shoe, by the way? Like, they're just, like, yelling shit out. And, yeah. and instead of, like, when that happens once, you go, like, shut the fuck up. Or, you know, you... But now it's, like, this is now the show. Oh, yeah. So it becomes the show for the next half hour of, like, doing a bit, interacting with people, people yelling shit, people telling me where they went to school and what they studied. And I'm, like... What the oh, fuck? It was... That is not your style of... No, but here's the thing. When it's that many people doing it, you have to embrace it. Otherwise... It's over. So yeah. I just I just rolled with it. And then I got off stage and everybody was like, you okay? Is everything? I was like. Chris Long's finishing up a Big Mac and he, or Whopper. Yeah, he, and he's like, oh, he came back and I was like, what do you think of that? He was like, that was fucking insane. What's crazy is when I hear a story, I picture the people in my head. Yeah. And I pictured a guy. When you said fishing shirt, I was like, this is a guy that looks like Tom, but he's just a lot bigger. The guy, yeah, bald. I couldn't even tell. I oh. couldn't. Tell. He had a hat on. Um, I, you know, he, it was just like, it was so not what you expect. Like it had club, like late club vibes, yeah. late Friday show club vibes of a three hundred seat room that has eighty people at it, but this was eleven or twelve hundred people in a room that Good was real. So, and God. it was just like it was the kind of thing where you go, if I decide right now. N like not to engage or like to be like I don't want to do this the only option is wa literally walking off stage yeah you know or like getting really mad <laughs> like yelling at somebody super angrily and then everybody be like ah <laughs> like be their dad so I was just like you just have to roll with this you have yeah. to roll with this but it was it really was pretty chaotic especially if I have to re like say it again for a theater like it's not what you see in theater I mean I've done hundreds of them now and I've never seen anything happen like that before. That's funny. I wonder. I would love to s listen to one of your shows and then have you listen to one of mine. And you go, "Oh, that was my Charlottesville show." And uh, I go, oh, that's, just like, "That's Thursday. Just that's an early early Thursday." Really? But I think I don't. But it's not. It's not like. It's really interesting because I think I get. Because I take my shirt off on stage, I think people think it's I, my thing is just a legit party the whole time. Right. Like I'm doing a fucking foam pit. Like I fucking fill a room with foam and. You know, it's just like, what is it? What do you guys want, huh? Yeah. You know, and it's, uh, someone said to me the other day, they're like, <clears throat> you know, I, someone that I really respect said, said I think you're on the, I think you're, oh, never mind. But it was like, it was like, yeah, it's crazy. You take your shirt off, but you're actually a, like a legit comic. Like you're, you've got this branding thing where people th notice you as the take your shirt off party guy, but you are like a legit storyteller. And I was like, yeah, it's kind of interesting because I, I do get the vibe of like, like, fucking shirt off, fuck it. But then my shirt's off and I'm telling, like, like heartfelt stories at times and funny stories yeah, and, yeah. And, t and doing jokes. But it's so interesting because I think people think I have that energy. Yeah. Yeah, the chaos energy. The chaos well, energy. I would think that, too. I mean, like, I, I don't, I, if I, I watch one of your promos, like especially <laughs> the moment when you take your shirt off, it's fucking pandemonium. I should have leaned into that. What do you mean? I should have just partied like crazy on stage. You brought like a fucking smash the light bulb over my head like a fucking you can still do it you know what i was telling shane and dave shane and shane torres and dave williamson sometimes you know as a comic you get in rote you gotta get bored with the thing and I, we were talking well that that wasn't even the thing we were noticing how 
these days it seems like a lot of younger comics go brand first and then because it's like you never you never see like a guy dressed like John Mulaney just doing stand up anymore or a guy dressed like you everyone's kind of everyone's kind of gotten getting a hook it seems like you know like they're they've get a, they're getting an angle of how to brand themselves as like as like the comic you need to watch mm-hmm. and I was telling Shane and Dave I was like I'll give you a thousand dollars each if I get to pick your brand and you got to do it for a little while on the road and I was gonna make Shane do stand up in roller skates that's just mean. No. Do you realize Shane Torres comes out in roller skates? Yeah, that's the brand. Yeah, and, and, we're like, and he just fucking rolls around. The and then, yeah, and he just rolls like skates a little bit and tells jokes. Do you think about it? Right, I'm thinking uh, it could work with a guy like Shane, who's obviously pretty much a stand and deliver comic. It could be if you did decide to lean into a a fucking brand. Like the initial one was to come out with a hook on his hand. Uh huh. <laughs> and be like, you're the hook handed comic. Right? Yeah. And then. Uh, How much time do the guys do before you go up? 15. How many guys go up usually? Two. Dave, two. Okay. Two. We, I've, I've had three. I had Rosebud Baker on the road with me, and uh, we they each did 10. Um, but uh, but I was like, if you, Shane was on roller skates and like could really kind of not, but really was confident on roller skates, it would be fucking hilarious because he's got the, the physicality of it would be f- amazing. Yeah. Like, you know, and then, and he's a, an amazing comic. And Im- immediately, you'd be booked on every late night show. What's your pitch for Dave? Wheelchair. And then at the end, stand up and go, thank you, good night. <laughs> that was my pitch for Dave. What do you think? He's, uh, they, both of them were like, for $1,000, whatever the fuck you want. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'll do it. Fuck yeah, I don't give a shit. I'll take the money. I'll fucking do a set. Why don't you set up the wheelchair at one of the upcoming games? I was, I want, was, because that, that's a little, that was just a joke. I was like, oh, yeah. Oh, oh. But, but, uh, Shane on roller he skates. You get a be, lot of sympathy laughs, too, to start. Like, your first solid joke, they'd be like, this cripple's pretty funny. Like, they, dude, if he, can, I'm going to make him go out and just, it's so much doable, go out in sunglasses and just stare off to the side. Oh, yeah. People will fucking be like, come on, buddy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Do we have any disabled comics these days? Are there any disabled comics? Yeah. For sure. Jo- I mean, Josh Blue, but I don't see him as. No, there's a there's another I one. I saw. Body. I saw. Because he's uh, a fucking Olympic athlete. I saw a roast guy who was, um, he had also has a, a cerebral palsy. What was Jerry Jules? Jerry Jules. Is that her name? Jerry Jules? Jerry, type in Jerry Jules. She had cerebral palsy, right? There is a roast guy who uh, who definitely does. I saw a clip. Um, Jerry Jewell. She had, what did she have? She had cerebral palsy? She was on Facts of Life. Okay. You don't remember her? Yeah. But I was she was Blair's cousin, and the whole the whole gag was the whole gag was Blair's embarrassed to be no, related to I, someone. I no, no, no. Think of the writing. Think of the writing on that. Let's think. Walk that walk that down the lane for a second. Okay. In 1980. What year was she on in 1982? Yeah. The Facts of Life in the 80s. The pitch was Blair's hot. And she's going to be embarrassed to have this person in her family. And she was. That was the whole fucking log line. That she Blair was, was like, oh, God. Yeah. Well, don't talk. You know, like. Yeah. And then she was like. They, and then the whole thing was she was a comedian. And, gotcha. then they, the, and then her friends had to be like, Blair, you got to love her. She's your family. And she's like, yeah, but look at her. Like that was the pitch. That was the fucking pitch of that. Writers wrote that down, and they were yeah. like, "Here you go." Yeah. <laughs> and the network was like, "I fucking love, love it. it." Yeah. I guarantee you, they're like, if, if Jer- they, they were like, they're, I bet they audition people. They're like, "Nah, we can understand you." Next. Do you think uh, Josh Potter is disabled because he's blind in one eye? Why doesn't he lean into that? Why doesn't he wear sunglasses on? I mean, his glasses are pretty. His glasses obvious, are pretty like, intense. These. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, when he shifts to sunglasses, it's going to be other level, though. That's when he's going to blow the fuck. Oh, he does have sun. Oh, he has transition. Do you think there are any blind people with transition glasses? Sure. Is that Josh Potter? Yeah. Without a beard? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, he's adorable. He's not a bad looking guy. He looks like a fucking shooter right there in the far left one. What happened that to his guy? Eyes? That guy lives in a cabin right there. That guy. Yeah. That's not adorable. But no, he's he's doing great. His podcast is, is is doing great numbers. He's doing the road. He's uh he's killing on the road. He's doing great. 
He's a cutie right, pie there. Right there, he's a little sweetheart, yeah. Yeah. Um. Wow, look at him there. Is that, is he, did they Where? put white Where? guy makeup on him? Is that, looks like a black guy. And Josh Potter, in, to the right, go to the right. That looks like a black guy and white guy makeup. That's Stephen King. That's Stephen King? Yeah. That's Stephen King? That is Stephen King. That's Stephen King? That is Stephen King. No fucking way. For sure it is. That's what Stephen King looks like? I mean, sometimes. But it says Josh Potter. I know, but that's Stephen King. Yeah. Jesus Christ. All right, keep going. Stuck on what to give your friends and family this year? Wish them a merry softness and a happy new rear with the new comfy underwear, loungewear, and pajamas from Tommy John. When your loved ones start their day wearing Tommy John, they know that you love them that much more because they're that much more comfortable. So everything they do is better. Tommy John loungewear, loungewear is luxurious, soft, tri-blend, and micro-mobile fabrics. I mean, four-way stretch and no limp balls or fuzz. With over 17 million pairs sold, giving Tommy John's the gift of underwear and loungewear has become a holiday tradition for families across the country. It is what I give my friends and family for Christmas because I'm a pajamas guy. You know that if you saw Secret Time. 97% of women and men love getting gifts from Tommy John. That's why Tommy John doesn't have customers. They have fanatics. Uh, I'll tell you what, man. I put on a pair of Tommy Johns and I feel like I'm in the lap of luxury. I'm standing at the Four Seasons. So damn comfortable. Get 20% off your first order right now at TommyJohn.com slash bears. That's TommyJohn.com slash bears for 20% off. Order now so your gift arrives before the holiday. That's very important. Right now, go to TommyJohn.com slash bears. See the site for details. Um, oh, we, tra- we tore with Rosebud. Yeah. I had a woman on the bus for the first time. How'd that go? I was very nervous because I don't, you know, it's almost like you're unaware of how you behave. Did you do uh, nudity in front of her? No nudity. Um, offered her the option to have a hotel room any night she wanted it, but it was kind of tough because we were traveling at night. Yeah. But if we were there, I was like, if we were staying in a city, we stayed in D.C. to do two nights. Yeah. And I was like, you're more than welcome to have a hotel room. I think she took it. Um, she went for a jog with us, kind of. She kind of went on for her own jog, kind of got lost and then found us. Um, it was fucking awesome because Good. you forget that she's a comic first. Like that's there's you know like I I don't know the right way to say it, but like all she cared about was comedy. I love I love when all anyone gives a fuck about is comedy. That's all they want to talk about. Yeah, and all they want to do is make jokes. And she watched my set, and I, I like every night she was watching my set, and she was like coming over with notes. She's like I like I told this new story about Snoop. She was like I love that Snoop story. She's like you got to keep it in the in the hour. Yeah, and I was like uh, I was like fuck yeah. I right. love comics who just want to talk shop. I, that's that's who I bring. Like, yeah, everyone who Jeff I bring, Tate. Jeff Tate, the best. Just wants to talk comedy. The best. The he, best. He has a total just comedy he is, mind. And he has a great opinion of comedy like, he does he's he has so a sharp very fine palate and his he uh he he writes probably more than anybody i know yeah every time like i'll like i'm done you know i, I didn't see him in a while then he came and toured and had a new set and then when i see him next it, it's always new and it's always really good it's really good it's really good stand-up yeah um but all the people i bring i love when comics what if we get jeff shop. tate to do roller skates he might think he might think about it you might think about it. Like what? What would be like? Remember, we used to do that when we worked at the um, at the improv. We would try to work on catchphrases. Yeah. Do you remember? We, do you remember? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. We tried to get a good catchphrase. Yeah. The, you finish your joke. Yeah. And finish your joke. Like, now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like punchline. Come and get it. Yeah yeah, yeah. 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 Pow pow. Bring it. Bring it. Yeah. Hey ho rodeo. Hey ho rodeo. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. <laughs> I told Dave he should start doing that, where he goes, he tells a joke, and when he gets to laugh, he kind of turns aside and he goes, good one, David. Are there no retarded comics? Like, is there not like a... Um, I don't know. Google it. No. I don't know. <laughs> That's my- <laughs> I mean, we should really end the show now. <laughs> that is the perfect, that is the funniest thing. Uh, 
Oh, you can take it down. Oh my God. Ugh. Oh. Sometimes it fuck. just happens naturally. That so is good. That was so good. <sighs> oh my God. That is fucking hilarious. That is so fucking hilarious. <laughs> right now, no one knows what we're laughing at. <laughs> right now, no one knows what we're laughing at. Ah. <laughs> uh. They'll never find out. They'll never find out that is, unless they Google it. <laughs> Just Google it. Well, then now you're telling them. About it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Oh. Oh. Wait. Did you? Oh. Wait. Oh, right now they're Googling it and they're laughing Hold as on. hard as we are. Uh, Dave's picture. What was that? What oh, is, was that a real face? It's just a real face. It was just a... Look, it, it, that made me laugh so fucking hard. We took a picture and and we just zoomed in on Dave's face. And <laughs> he looked horrible. <laughs> okay, so here's what's going on in that picture. <laughs> he's eating popcorn and he's, ah. and he's drinking red wine. Ah, uh, which doesn't excuse the dick face looking thing where he pulls his chin like, back like this. Yeah. But we we saw that picture and we could not stop laughing, could not stop laughing. The only the only face that we've enjoyed more than that is this one. Okay, all right. I just emailed it to you. This is the only other picture that made us laugh this hard, and this is John Mann's doing a polar plunge. So we went to do polar plunges. We do polar plunges on the road, and uh, and John Mans goes, "I bet I could." He's very confident, and if you want to gamble, this is his face doing a polar plunge because he doesn't like it. And we could, we're like, "You look like an old man." Yeah, and he's like, ah, ah. "I love when you get bad pictures of people." It's great. There's a picture of me naked in a lake from a from a drone. Yeah, I'm on my back, and my dick is fa is buoyant, so it's pointing up. So it only is as big as the width of a soft dick, right? Uh -huh. So it is. It looks like a button, and, then, <laughs> and and that got passed around our tour bus forever. My favorite thing to do growing up, because you know my sister, my balls, my balls is a great your, picture your balls that got great, passed right? around. My sisters are way more emotional, obviously. Like you know, they're girls. Like they're oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And like there'd be moments where like there's a fight or some argument, and they would be screaming and cry, and I would always try to take a picture. And then I would have those pictures blown up and put them in a frame. So they just walk up and be like, you have a picture of me crying? <laughs> wait. So wait. So we were, we were at my grandmother's funeral. Yeah. And, uh, and they're, they're posting, they have a slideshow of pictures up. And one of the pictures is my sister Annie and, and her, like, going through adolescence at her fattest. And she's in like, it's the most unflattering picture. So we're all sitting in there, everyone's somber, and they start the slideshow, and everyone's like, oh, oh, oh. And then the picture of Annie comes up. She goes, seriously? <laughs> and at a funeral, everyone starts laughing hysterically, but it kept playing on a loop. So it would we'll go back, back, and it would come back, and everyone would laugh again. <laughs> it's at a fucking funeral, and we are crying laughing every time a picture of Annie comes up. Oh, uh, God damn it. Um, all right, wait. Yeah, Dave's picture, and then I got a bunch of shit because everyone's like, "I thought you don't break balls, Bert," because oh, you can't, because yeah. you can't, because you can't fucking take back things once you say it on a podcast. You mean it forever? Oh, because you can. They're, they're they're getting on you because you fat shame me for years. I did not fat shame you. You fucking gaslit me. That podcast. I listened to that beginning of that podcast. That's fucking fascinating to watch how your brain fucking does that mental gymnastics of lying to yourself so you can lie to other people. <laughs> Meta world peace. Watch what? Done, what? You were by the way. What? 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 It is what? A, what? I don't care. I came out is, of fat. You can't say anything. It, it, it's <laughs> your level. I got, I'm so fat. I have food in my teeth. <laughs> teeth in my. F <laughs> you have teeth in your food. <laughs> I got teeth in my food. <laughs> Just picking at this tooth out of my. <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Uh, 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 the look
look on your face. Uh, when do you realize what I said? Uh, <laughs> you, go, oh, you have teeth in your food. <laughs> oh. Your level of delusion and oh. denial is so insane with oh, the fat you, thing. You have no idea. You have no idea. I'm sitting here telling you I eat healthy, and I told you what I had to eat the other day, and you're like, "Give me all that in one day." And I was like, "Yeah, I guess I have been." F- Admittedly fat for a while. <laughs> the funny thing with you is you'll be like, I've been really good. I've been really good lately. I've been really good. And then it'll be it'll be like 20 seconds later, you're like, I had fucking four burritos and eight cheeseburgers. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Any, tell him what we just ate while he was on the phone call with his agent. On a plate, we just filled a plate with sauce, cheese, and pepperoni and just ate it with spoons. You did? It was fucking awesome. It was fucking Easy, any easy. He said it wasn't good. Yeah, because he likes carbs. Because he has, he's because whatever. <laughs> I know I was gonna say something. I'm not, I wasn't gonna say it because okay. then he might get sensitive. Okay. Everyone fucking liked it. Everyone liked it. It was a big fucking hit. Yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, uh, I love when you find like a cheat code. Like you know what I like to do is I, I was telling them I like to take a piece a piece of pizza leftover yeah. pizza. Take a cup, cut a center, cut a hole in the center of the pizza, and put a cracked egg inside that center. Ooh. Oh, so fucking good. And you put that on the pan? I put it on the pan, and you'd be shocked. It heats up perfectly, and then just the last minute, you give it a little quick flip. Or or what what I do sometimes is I put a little water in the pan, put a top on the pan, and then it steams the top of the egg and steams the cheese. Jesus. And then you take that little hole, and you put that on top. Motherfucker. You're doing like fat guy elite shit right now dude you know? like the things you're describing are like all things that everybody wants to indulge in i am going hard in the fucking paint i mean you came out you know what you know what we did one time this is maybe my favorite thing we've ever done is we tried to create the perfect burger wait 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 before you do that <laughs> do you think there's a chance you could reach out to your publicist and see if any like mainstream publication is willing to do an article on you coming out like as fat <laughs> <laughs> like do a serious piece like Burt Kreischer comes oh, out yeah. and then people will be like oh my god and then just have it be in the I article you have a public- I don't have a publicist well not a, yeah, a yeah, year yeah, round yeah. but I'm saying see, when you have like a publicity thing okay like you have a movie I, coming I, let me, out let me let me I tell you what I got a publicist on call yeah I, I, her name's Karen and say I, you, gonna, and gonna, make sure you say I want to do an I want to do an article on coming out yeah. and then and when they go coming out be like yeah as fat and then see if somebody will May, do like a real fat embrace piece, you know. I wonder if I wonder if this is still her number. All right, she was on, she was my publicist at Travel Channel, and I'll see if they, if she thinks. But what about on the on on the machine movie? They're definitely giving you a publicist for that for sure. Oh, and that's a good angle. Yeah, because you're like, hey, Bert, you're fat as fucking shirtless in this, and I was like, yeah, I'm coming out as fat. Yeah, yeah. And I was like, and I'd like to welcome other people to come out of the fridge and <laughs> yeah, yeah, and share their stories of of what it was like in the fridge. What if People did it? What if People Magazine did it? What if they Google Google? See if anyone's come out as fat. I want, I, would I be the first person to come out as? I mean, I'm certain. I think with that, I, I don't mean to be disrespectful, but the world's so bizarre right now. I'm certain other people have come. In, everything you know, BC is wrong. Can hurt. Top ten reasons BMI is bogus. Put uh, put come out in quotes. And I don't know if obese is the right word. Yeah. Wait. Four ways to come out as fat. What? Dude, this can be in an article. Yeah. Pat McAfee's FaceTiming me. Oh, okay. Pat, let's see those eyes. What's up, dude? Brown eyes. God damn it. We thought they would be blue. Green. Come G- on. Green? You're part of the 5% of people. Hey, Pat. What's up, bud? What's up, dude? Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, he's got green eyes. Uh, Bert's been talking about He said you got a real sweet ass on you. He hey, does. I heard you guys talk. You guys been talking about my ass a lot. I appreciate that. That makes me it's feel not, good. Hey, it's not you guys. It's, it's us. It's us. It takes two to tango. Hey, Bert. Anybody talking about my ass, I enjoy. I appreciate you, buddy. I, I've been seeing a lot of you nude on the internet these days. Uh, you fucking killing it, pal. Back on tour. Let's go. <laughs> I fucking go, love dude. this. Hey, Tom, Tom and I are thinking about doing a surprise football player, celebrity football player dinner where we just start inviting you guys until you guys realize, fuck, he's just inviting some football players. <laughs> no, no, I'm not a celebrity either. I would love to go there. I, I think that would be like uh, a dream come true if you two fuckers invited me to a dinner. But there is probably going to be some people that will have a different reaction, I'd assume. I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> when are you coming to L.A.? We got to have you come on. 
When are you coming to L.A.? Oh, I'm not in L.A. I'm in Austin right now. Yeah, didn't you guys pick up and move to Austin? That's like in that the whole thing. No, Tom moved us to Austin. But we're we're uh we're, that's what's closer to you. you sh- it is right down right down the plane ride. There. Come right, on, man, close. jump on a plane. Hey, I would love to. You know, and I was gonna, I was honored to be asked to host two bears while Bert was over in uh, Lithuania. Yeah, or wherever the hell, <laughs> whatever the hell was going on. Um. By the way, shout out Mark Hamill throwing me right back into the fucking fire, Bert, after the Aaron Rodgers thing died down two days. Mark Hamill quote tweets, sends me back into the fire. He's going to be your dad or something in the machine. I did some research on this guy. I did some research on this guy. I I can't wait to see it, but uh, I can't believe I missed the opportunity to be a host uh, alongside you guys. How about you, man? Are Are you immunized? Uh, yeah, I'm immunized. Okay, you know, cool. I, uh, I believe in, no, I got vaccinated. So the thing about that is I got vaccinated and then I got COVID and I got COVID real bad, like 104.5 degree fever. No shit. I thought I was going down, down. Like I thought that was all she wrote. COVID came through and hit a little pain train on my entire system. So, no shit. Uh-oh. I mean, it's, it's a wild world, obviously. And, uh, I would be honored to go to dinner with you guys. Long answer short there. Hey, we would love to have you for real, man. Yeah. Why don't we set oh, that up? Shit, I didn't know we're just in a room. I thought, hey, <laughs> hey, I didn't know we're just in like a bedroom up here. Hey, is that what we got going on down there in Austin? Yeah, it's no, a, he's building a. He, no, Tom's a, building a compound like Rogan, but right now we're in a fucking squat house. Yeah, this is a uh, actually a, a trap house. Um, <clears throat> hey, respect. I was conceived in a trap house. Actually, Old really, mom and dad had sex on a couch down there. Yeah. <laughs> That's what, that's what By the way, I've seen I've seen your dad's pullout game in Jenga. It's pretty impressive. <laughs> yeah, pullout game on old Sal wasn't great. I guess in the trap house, that's my mom. But in <laughs> Jenga, he's unbelievable. <laughs> so, so Austin's just become what Elon's making that the space home, right? Elon's building up all the rocket ships. Rogan's down there changing the entire media world, and now they got Segura down there in fucking Austin. What a dream. Oh, it's a, it's a real dream, and we get Bert here pretty often, so there's... I'm here more than I am in my own house. There's uh, restaurants opening every week. It's pretty <laughs> good. Hey, hey, Pat, Pat, have you ever heard of anyone coming out as fat? Is that just like when they recognize that they finally got to the point that their body is despicable? <laughs> it's yeah, a, yeah, it's yeah, a, yeah, 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 kind of. <laughs> Yeah, I come out. I come out fat like every football season around November, December. I come out big time fat. Did you do this, Bert? Did you yeah. just finally admit it? Yeah, well, I, I was just jealous of, of gay guys get to come out and then celebrate their life, and then they get to go really explore their sexuality. And I was like, I want to come out as fat and really explore my eating and and really go hard in the pain. I just had a, a plate full of cheese and and pepperonis. Just say, fuck it. I'm on my path to 700 pounds. <laughs> yeah. Everybody should be proud of me. That, yeah. that, that is what yeah. you're saying? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. exactly what I'm saying. Hey, old Davey Meats back there will be able to help you out. That motherfucker's on the grill, what, all day, every day on this Birdie Boy World Tour. You're well on your way. That food looks unbelievable. Dude, we just got, get this, we just got $2,000 worth of steaks that we put in our freezer. And we we're eating steaks as Sneeze Nice Snackers every night. Yeah, he's gaining weight. He's gaining weight. We're all proud of him. By the way, Tom and I are getting ready to go to dinner right now. Look at you, coming out as fat and living your best life. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> good for you, man. I mean, honestly, trying to have it uh, you know, be in the same vein as the LGBTQ community is probably going to get you in some shit, but I want to let you know I'm proud of you, bud. You want to be a 500-pounder, fucking go do it. <laughs> Boom. That's Thank the you, best. Pat. That I is- love your eyes. Hey, what are you, blue-eyed, Bert? Baby blues, baby blues. Oh, that's why you were that machine down there in Florida State, huh? Yeah, Lynn, look, Tom's got blue eyes, too. Look, Pat. Man, you guys are fucking heartthrobs, Real too. quick yeah. question. What color eyes does Aaron Rodgers have? Ooh, those are blue or green, right? He's green. God damn it. See, that was our game we're playing, to seeing if you can remember the eye colors of people you met or no. Is this blue, right? Yeah. No. Right. no a- Aaron's? Are they, are they green? blue? I forgot. Uh, we already, already forgot. We yeah, already forgot and forgot. Yeah. That's gonna happen, especially when I think they were blue. To be in the super, super outed fat guy. You know, some yeah. things are just yeah. gonna be. Some things are gonna get forgotten. Blue. About, you know? Oh my God, yeah. Aaron! Hold on. Take a look at Aaron Rodgers' eyes. Hold on. Take a look at these. Yeah, yeah. What about what about AJ? What about AJ's eyes? 
AJ Hawk. They would have to be Brown, I think, because I don't remember any like you know what I mean? Yeah. Um How'd you guys get into eyes? You're pretty good. Oh, AJ's got blue eyes and oh, they're AJ's fucking got blue. They are serial killer albino blue. Yeah. They are every day. I didn't know that he has blue eyes. Isn't that crazy? We talk to people every day and don't know what they wait, hold on. What? This is that's impossible. What? Look at the website this is on. Scroll up. Scroll up. No, other side, where the picture is. What if it just gives everybody blue eyes? <laughs> it could be. It could be just like a German site. Um, <laughs> let's see. Uh, oh, man. Well, yeah, I mean, if you name, how about like you have guys on staff. Do you know their eye colors? If we, no. I, even, I feel like a terrible listener, too, because you're supposed to pay attention to that stuff. I, I couldn't even guess. Yeah, me neither. I'd rather have someone tell me an interesting story than go, oh, Bert, by the way, I remembered your eyes were blue. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah. Okay. Hey, I appreciate you guys. Uh, I, I miss you guys. Man. I miss you too, man. I get to watch you on the internet. You guys obviously kill it all the time. Well, we watch you, man, and uh, uh, c congrats on everything. Hopefully, um, we really could get uh, uh, a dinner together. Yeah. That'd be a lot of fun for real. So we're going to do something down in Texas, I think, here within the next couple months. Whenever we get down there, we'll call. Oh, the fuck yeah. I'll fly in for that. Let's do it, man. Let's do it. Okay, that'd be sweet. I appreciate you guys. Hey, good All right. eyes on YouTube. Hey, good eyes. Good eyes. Good eyes. Yeah. 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 Hey, nice fucking fish. Big fucking eyes. Big fucking nice eyes. Fish. And thanks you for the FaceTime. You can always FaceTime me. Yeah, okay. I can't wait. <laughs> All right. See Bye. ya. Um, he delivers. That was every awesome. fucking time every he time. delivers. Every, every time. fucking. You know time. what it is, man? It's a fucking professional. That's what yep. he is. Yep. Pat gets it. Um, all right, we should wrap this up, man. Let's Real get ready real. for dinner. Don't you want to have, have your dinner? Where are we going? Do we know? Yeah, we, I got. I got it lined up. All I've had is uh, mozzarella and pepperonis and sauce today. That's it, and some coffee. <laughs> and, and that beer in the morning. And that well, and so, a cider. Yeah feel good yeah <laughs> it's a good way to go into dinner you can really have the calories now okay oh a double g click yeah i usually just give a yeah all right let's do some uh <clears throat> let's tell our audience that we love them that we're on tour yeah and uh and i got my booster shot so i'll be able to hang out a little more than i have been oh good yeah, um, it's, it's, i'm just i'm fully immunized <laughs> uh yeah, we are on I'm tour. I'm gonna start doing takes. I'm gonna start doing camera takes. Ready? Yeah. Like, uh, like, <clears throat> I'll say something and then I'll mess the word up and then I'm gonna watch it. Okay. Okay. So, uh, hey, Nadav, what's the word I have a hard time saying? Uh, I'm fully I'm, I'm <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> now I saw it. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, we're on tour. I can't stop looking in your eyes now. <laughs> <laughs> Get tickets, TomSegura.com, BurtBurtBurt.com. BurtBurtBurt.com. And um, thank I'm you. I'm in Texas all of December. Okay. Um, oh, and I got two shows at the Met in Philadelphia for New Year's Eve, and they're not listening right now. They've already hung nah, up. Nah, they hung up. Um, I love you. I love you, too. Bye, guys. Bert and Tom, Tom and Bert. One goes topless while the other wears a shirt. Tom tells stories and Bert's the machine. There's not a chance in hell that they'll keep it clean. Here's what we call Two Bears One Cave. No scripts, a bit of booze, amateur partology. Dirty jokes, raunchy humor, no apologies. Here's what we call Two Bears One Cave.